Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name's Natalia and welcome to House of Natalia. I saw a really interesting video from Melissa Alatorre and she did a whole unedited version of like a full face. I get a lot of questions about how long a makeup process usually takes and it depends. So today I thought that I would do an unedited version of each portion of the makeup process. So I'm going to be breaking this down with brows, full face makeup application, and full face doesn't mean tinted moisturizer and some concealer. It means a full face beat. Um, and then how to blend eyeshadow, not just how to blend eyeshadow, but the third one will be eyeshadow blending and how long it actually takes. So all of these will be unedited. Stay tuned. I'm going to start off with, let's start off with a face though, because I've got a pimple here and I've been drying it out. So like I even put eye cream there just to keep it like moisturized. Anyways, I'll cover that in the video. All right, here we go. So I did do my brows. So I moisturized my face already. Um, I'm going to put my trusted Becca, what is it called? I'm putting my primer on from Becca. Push my hair away a little bit. All right, so I have a really stubborn pimple on my nose. Totally fine. I'm going to start off with a peach concealer. So this is going to be layered, but kind of tapping that on there to remove the redness, how red it is. And then just blend out the edges. because I don't want it to be so distracting. Okay, so now I can go on to my base and today I'm going to use a mixture because I'm just trying to honestly get through these bottles. Um, and I'm not as light as I normally would be for the winter time. So I'm doing L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in shade 104. And then I'm going to mix it with Benefit's Hello Flawless Foundation in beige. So this is a lot deeper. And usually around this time, like it's going to be December soon, I still mix my foundations well into December. It's usually January, February when I'm actually like my lightest. And yes, I apply my foundation with my fingers. I do because I just like having it in synergy with my skin and I feel like my fingers really do that for me. So I'm going to also get my forehead. I have to remember that this video is unedited so I have to pretty much work fairly quickly because nobody wants to sit through a whole it, and the usually the process takes about an hour and a half especially if you're going to do beat eyes beat brows beat everything beat contour beat face blah 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 I'm going to go in with my peach concealer. This one is from Longcomb. And I don't know what the shade is in that one. So moving right along. I apply it with my ring fingers. I 
and this just really helps to brighten underneath the eyes. I usually use a medium coverage foundation, medium to full coverage foundation, um, but usually it is more so medium coverage. And then I go in with a lot of concealers, so that's really where most of the full coverage comes into play. And if you don't know the difference between medium coverage, full coverage, um, sheer coverage, I do have a video. It is my Charlotte Tilbury video about um, how to apply the Hollywood Flawless Filter. And I kind of go through those different kind of coverages because it's important to know what you want to do on an everyday basis versus what you want to do on a special occasion. So sometimes special occasions, it's best to do full coverage. And it's depending on like what you want. So you show an artist a picture that you've seen um, on social media, and then you guys kind of go with what you're comfortable with. Or if you trust her artistry, you've seen the artist's work and you like it, then make sure you just let them know what you're comfortable with. And you guys do a whole consultation. I'm going to use this lighter concealer just in the smaller regions of my face to add that center highlight that you would get right through that middle portion just underneath the eyes. So now what I do is I do blend it out after I've kind of tapped it in with my fingers. I further tap it in with a foundation brush. And this foundation brush is the It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Complexion Perfection number seven. And then I blend out the edges first along the cheek area and I kind of deliberately do not blend right in here until the last part. So maybe I'll just tap, tap, tap right through there. Cause I do want the concealer to kind of dry down a little bit. And when it's dried down, I feel like it stays a little bit better. So I'm gonna go in with my Tom Ford contour cream in intensity one and now I'm going to sculpt out my face in previous videos I have used Fenty the Fenty mocha stick and I do love that one I love it for how cool tone it makes um, my contour. This one I've noticed it has a lot more like warmth to it. But it still does a really great job at um, blending out my contour and making it look really natural. I haven't played with the really bright portion of it. There's like this white part over here that I barely touch, but I clean because I like a clean palette. And I'm going in with a Real Techniques brush around the perimeter of my face and I'm blending it in towards my face, blending out any harsh edges. I'm going to go down kind of the bridge of my nose and I always start at the very tip 
because most of the width of my nose is there and then whatever else I kind of drag up. And then I notice that I'm starting to get like a square face like my my grandpa which in the Filipino culture we call grandpa's Lolo and my Lolo used to have such a square jaw I don't know if I'm just being really paranoid but <laughs> these ones are extending I should probably lose weight too. That's probably it. So because I feel like they're extending, I can kind of blend that area right there to make it smaller. And I always do that. Like every time I put makeup on. Okay. <clears throat> I have to remember this is unedited. Now I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and start further blending out everything, meeting everything up into each other so I'm finally blending underneath my eyes. And because I let that concealer dry down a little bit, then I feel like the surface, what's not dried down. My camera just died and I realize I'm going to have to say that after every single time so that you don't think that it's edited or cut. But I don't know where I left off. I do have my concealer dry underneath my eyes just for a little bit so that the pigment can stick and stay onto the other layers that I had put on and whatever else did not dry down is easily blendable. So now what I'm going to do is reach for my powder. I'm at the very end of this Dermablend powder and I mixed it with um, Ben Nye banana powder because this one was so light. Now I'm going to take my beauty blender and I do find that a wet beauty blender or a wet sponge adheres and makes the under eye look a lot smoother than a brush does. I don't crepe as much with setting underneath my eyes with a wet sponge versus a brush. So again, I'm going to take just a little bit and lightly set underneath my eyes, down my nose, whatever's left, I'm going to take up between my brows and a little over the forehead and also down here too. So now what I also like to do is gently kind of sculpt right through here. I'm not taking it all the way back too because I don't want to emphasize that portion. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced bronzer and start setting that cream contour. I have been doing this for years now, so 
um, what I reach for, products that I reach for, my routine, it comes easily to me. But before, if I were just starting out and, you know, not really having a routine down where I know what to place where and when, that comes with practice and practicing it like every day. So you don't just kind of magically pick up a foundation brush and then you know exactly where everything goes. It just comes with practice. So you just keep practicing and then it'll flow. You'll have your own routine and it doesn't have to be the way that everybody has it on YouTube or whatever. It's your own routine and it works for you in your everyday life. I'm going to take whatever's left on the brush and sculpt the nose a little bit, so. There we go. Now I feel pretty good about this coverage. I Oh gosh. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my highlight, my powder highlight, and I'm going to first use this highlight from MAC called Whisper of Guilt. I'm gonna highlight right above. the cheekbones. Lift those babies up. Go right above the brow a little bit for some glow right there. And my pressure is really, really light. Go down the bridge of my nose, right above the cupid's bow as well. Vision my nose. Down the cupid's bow. Okay, last is blush. So I'm going to use my favorite, I've hit pan already on it, peaches. And I'm going to kind of marry the two together. But I still want to go pretty high on the cheekbone because you want to be lifted and you want to stay lifted. If you bring the blush down, then you kind of droop the whole face down. So you actually go a lot higher than what you would think. All right. At this point, I'm feeling really good, but I do set my foundation further. And again, it's up to you guys, but this is my routine and what I do. Um, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a darker powder from Bobbi and my wet sponge. And I'm gonna kind of just go where that contour was and where that highlight was, bring it right through there, kind of tone down that bake a little bit right through there. And then with an even lighter powder, this is the Sephora Collection Micro Smooth in number 25 with my wet sponge again. And it's not too wet right now, but I'm going to just Stay right underneath the eyes there. And continually further set. So what that does for me, I feel like it makes it a lot more, um, like the complexion a lot more smooth. And I do it with a wet sponge because I still want it to be binding to my skin and look natural so it doesn't put a lot of product on my skin. This is an unedited video of my 
actual foundation routine, foundation contour blush routine. So I'm going to set with the Kat Von D Locket setting spray. And that helps to make everything in synergy with each other and melt together so that it just looks natural. All right, you guys, I hope you liked this video and how truthful it is, especially with it being unedited. I've said that like 20,000 times, you could have a drinking game on it, but really the expectation for makeup is sometimes diluted because of YouTube, Instagram videos. You think you get a beat face like that, you don't. It takes a while. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, list them down below. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.